All right, y'all, welcome back. We're working on our light show again today. Um, our light show's gotten too big to use Wi-Fi, so we're gonna switch our caps over to Ethernet so we can have a faster uh, data transfer. Um, it's better hardlined. Wi-Fi is just not keeping up and there's uh, a lot of lagging in the lights. So I'm gonna show you how to set this up very first thing you want to do, this is for Dig Quad, by the way, um, is you want to go to install.wled.me. If you're using a Dig Quad or Dig Uno, you're probably just going to want to save this as a favorite. You just go over to your star here and just save it. Because I um, pretty flash these, I wouldn't say often, but it's been more than one occasion that I've had to reflash these. So go ahead and save that as a favorite. And uh, you're gonna want a USB-C cable that can transfer data. Um, so without further ado, we're just gonna plug this in. All right, we're all plugged in now. We're gonna go to the screen. We're gonna make sure we choose the ethernet and then just install. And this is asking uh, where it's plugged in. This is port three on my computer right here. That's all that is. And then we're just gonna hit connect. Install WLED. It's gonna be a race, that's fine. We'll just go ahead and install. Erasing. This will take a couple of minutes. Yep, so we'll come back when the two minutes is up. All right, so we're almost done wrapping up. All right, install is complete. So we'll click next. Now it's asking to configure Wi-Fi, but we're not gonna wanna use Wi-Fi. However, we're still gonna set it up because this will help give us our IP address. So I'm gonna choose my network and type in my password, and then we'll be right back. All right, now we've got our password. We're just gonna hit connect. All right, so now we're gonna visit device. All right, so this is our uh, cap right here. This is what we use for WLED. So we're going to go to config, Wi-Fi setup. Our IP address is here now. All right, let's scroll down. Ethernet type. Right now it says none. We're going to choose Quinn LED ESP32. All right, we're gonna save and connect. All right. Okay, so when you plug in the cap and get everything hardwired, you'll actually get a new IP address and it'll say ethernet next to it. Um, you, you have two different IP address, one for Wi-Fi, one for Ethernet. So you want the Ethernet IP address, and I like to make it static so it doesn't change. From here, I'm just going to go ahead and set up my lights. We got a 30,000 milliamp, which is... There we go. We got a 12... Oops, wrong one. 12 volt, 30 milliamp. Okay, so we're gonna do RGB. It's 200 there. Second one, RGB. 
200, GPI it was three. Next one. RGB. Uh, 193 and 193 is what? Uh, 386, I think. And GPI was 1. And we're not using the fourth port on this one. Okay, none of this other stuff. We're going to save it. Should be good. Let's, I want to go ahead and save a preset that I'm going to do to start up when I'm not using X lights. Let's do running dual. I like that one. And I like the, where is it? Fairy reef. So we're going to do preset. I'm going to call it start. Start up is what I'm going to call it. And you'll see why I'm calling it that here in just a second. We're going to go all the way down. Uh, apply preset at boot. So that's our first preset. So every time it starts up, it's going to be running dual at the uh, fairy reef. Fairy Reef and Running Duel. Okay, so now I'm just gonna, we're gonna shut this off and we're gonna go install it into our box and we're gonna hook it up with an ethernet cable and see if it works. Okay, so we're out at our box. We're gonna take this one off gently and we're just gonna replace it with this one to make sure that you line up the pins properly and then uh, we'll stick the ethernet cable in there and see if it works. Okay, so we got all, uh, everything all switched over to ethernet. So this is just kind of what it looks like. Uh, the topper with the ethernet jack. I uh, got a small ethernet cable, this is a Cat6, uh, going into a gland, it's waterproof, and then coming out, and all my boxes look like this. So, that way, if I want to unplug it, I don't have to open the box up. I can just unplug it right here and we're good to go. So let me show you what the setup looks like. All right, so here we are in my garage. I have all the ethernet cables from my ports coming in these four right here. This one at the end is coming from my router. And then obviously right here we have the uh, Raspberry Pi that controls the show. Coming out of the Raspberry Pi, we have a sound blaster, and the sound blaster is going over to my FM transmitter, which will play the uh, media uh, music over the radio, and I can choose whatever station I want it to go to. So basically all I did was I went and scrolled through the radio stations and found whichever one was dead completely and there was absolutely nothing on it at all not even a little bit and uh, tuned it to that station which for me is 87.9 and i started the show and turned my car radio to that channel sure enough works like a dream uh, but you do have to set up your pi for the sound blaster or else you'll just have to use the audio jack which is on the side here so there's the audio jack let's see where it's right there so you can, I do recommend getting the Sound Blaster though because the, the quality is much better with that. They're like 20 bucks on uh, Amazon and I can have a link for you in the description below.